Hello. So I'm up here in the mountains and I'm going to hang out here for a whole week. And I just want to hang out here and talk. I want to make videos, make as many videos as I can. Make like 50 videos. <laughs> um, maybe and try and make videos in Spanish. Ones that I've already done in English and Spanish. Because um, there's this uh, library in Bellingham. That This mini library that can open, upload videos, like a 1.7 gig video in like a couple minutes. <sighs> it's unbelievably fast, so I can make like 50 giga, 50 videos, like 100 gigabytes worth of videos and just upload them, no problem. Just go in there and work and they'll all get uploaded. <laughs> so, plus, um, it's a good way for me to save money. Um, if I'm up here, I won't spend anything, and I have enough food um, for a week. I'm just eating, like, oatmeal and pasta, um, and then, like, canned vegetables, and it's enough to keep me alive. I might do some exercise. I don't know. I think tomorrow I'm going to ride my bike up to the lookout, view it, look at Mount Baker. I'm at the ski resort now. Check out my, uh, check out where I'm gonna be living. I'm basically like in the middle of the of the wilderness. I was looking at like pikas over there and marmots and stuff. Or a park anyway. There's the road up to the to the um, lookout. But this is the ski resort. Mount Mount Baker Ski Resort as you can see. Um Check it out. It's the Mount Baker Ski Resort. Looks like a pretty cool ski resort. Right? That lift I was looking at before is that one and that one. So right now I'm parked like um, I'm parked like like right around here or something. Yeah. Anyways, I guess there's the back side. It's only like an hour from Bellingham, so. And there's where those backcountry dudes are skiing. So I'm like way in the middle of the wilderness. Because <laughs> cars only drive by like once every couple of minutes. But I got my car here. I'm roughing it in the car. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, my mom said that she wouldn't be able to, she could give me money when she gets back from working at the Telluride Film Festival on the 7th volunteering there. Does that every year? Because I only have like 100 bucks left. So I could do that. Come back, have some money, and then go up to, or at least try to go up to Canada again. And then go back down to Seattle and spend Seattle for a couple months. So we'll see how this goes. I just want to take it easy too. <sighs> I got. Oh. I mean, I'm in the point where I just need to sit. I could just sit here, just sit. You know, not do anything. I got a little bit burnt out um, working, and I also I need to get fit. If I, my body has deteriorated. So like, if I get like below a certain fitness level, like if it goes long enough where I don't exercise. <laughs> Well, I feel really bad. I feel toxic. My muscles ache. But the big problem is I have asthma. Like, I can't breathe at all at night. I can't get to sleep until like 5 in the morning because I can't breathe. Even if I take like 100 of these. And I take a bunch of these. I take like three of these in a row. And then my heart rate gets up to like 110. Which keeps me from going to sleep. And then I get the asthma again. So, And I try to listen to my MP3 history stuff. But it's still hard to to concentrate so basically the only way to cure the asthma is, is by exercising <sighs> like the muscle flow and that's actually why I yawn so much when I do videos it's because I try to my body's trying to get oxygen to my brain because I don't get enough oxygen normally with my lungs my lungs are fucking bl blown to hell I got asthma back in 97 when I was 23 
in like October or something, I was in, um, well, I smoked a fuckload of weed in college. And most of that was like scraping like metal pipes. And I, so I was smoking like pieces of metal, you know, and, and like raisin, and, and resin all the time. And like taking really big hits, like where my lungs would burn and then holding it in and thrashing my lungs. You know, and I didn't even really exercise that much a few of those years. And, um, yeah, and I guess it caught up to me, but I was in um, Turkey one day in Istanbul, and somebody was in a hostel, and it's, somebody was really sick laying in there, and it was a, the air in there was really putrid and stale. It smelled like sickness, and then I left, and then I took the bus down to Gallipoli, or, um, yeah, Gallipoli, and I was in a hotel room for there for like three days, deliriously ill, like the sickest I've ever been, like, like nightmarishly sick. Um sweating and I had this vision of like holding the I was literally hallucinating I was having this vision of this I was holding the world in my hand and then I'd like I'd squeeze it up and destroy it and then I'd hold it up again and then it it, it immediately like come back to the earth like a little earth with biosphere and I'd smash it and then I'd come back and anyway I finally came back from that and then I was in the hostel another hostel laying in bed and I had asthma and it was the first time I had asthma I did have asthma really bad when I was like six when I first moved to Boulder like really bad I remember having really bad asthma attacks but then it went away after like a couple months. And it didn't come back, so I was, it was like the first time I'd ever had an asthma attack. I mean, I have asthma a couple times in college, like by, just by smoking too much. Which is kind of weird, but I oh, was smoking like cigarettes. But like, yeah, but I was in there in the hostel and I had asthma and I was like, what the hell? And then I went to Nepal a couple days later and then I had asthma and all of a sudden I had asthma. And I remember I bought an inhaler. I remember eating it for the first time going... <sighs> You know, it's like, this is the first time I'd ever inhaled anything other than weed, like in my life. And I was like, I'm destroying my lungs, inhaling this, put these chemicals in my lungs. But then I became reliant on it. So, I want to like cure myself of asthma. I want to swim down the Mississippi and row around, kayak around the Caribbean. Smell fresh air, maybe I can cure it, or at least, <sighs> should probably cure it. But maybe I can cure it. Um, permanently. Miracles do happen. My teeth came together once. My windshield crack went away once. So, um, yeah. Actually, I've told this story a bunch of times, but let me tell it. It's a cool story. I had a windshield crack right here. Started about, uh, I think it went across this way. No, I think it started from here. But it was about this level. And it went on like this, about level. And it got to about there. And it was kind of like growing steadily. And I was like planning like when it got all the way, I was gonna just see how much it costed to fix it. But I got in my car one day, I was delivering newspapers. It was like March 2000. And uh, yeah, I got in my car and I turned the light on and I go, what the fuck? Crack's gone. Yeah, dude, the crack just disappeared one day in my car. And I had it like four years. It was like part of my car that I'd look through every all the time. And then three days later, I had these big old gape teeth, like teeth like that, that I put like rubber bands on to hold. And it, uh, one day, all this gum was falling down between my teeth. And I was like, what? Why is it? And I look in the mirror, and my teeth had totally come together. And that was three days after the crack disappeared. And those are the only like miracles I'd ever had. So, weird dude, really weird. <sighs> Actually, one other time this weird thing happened. I was driving my van across in Colorado and I went over this pass and I was going down the pass towards Gunnison. And I went down the pass, or I went up the pass, but I passed this, this blue van. You know, he was going slow. And I was driving down the road and then like 10, 20 minutes later, I passed that same exact blue van again. And I was like, what the fuck? You know, I didn't recall him passing me. I was like, time warp, what the fuck? Anyways, that's the only other time I can think of off the top of my head. Anyways, so yeah, I'm just gonna talk, hang out here and talk. Upload of, do a crazy amount of talking videos. Expand, all right, so that's that. That's what I'm going to do.